Hey y'all, we're out here today in Cordova. Uh, we're actually uh, waiting on the termite guy. Yep, gotta get inspection. that termite inspection done. Yeah, it's part of the process. And you know, while we we're sitting here waiting, we had some time. I thought, well, let's make a video. We haven't done one on this. Just the whole process of uh, moving here, finding a home, buying a home. Um, you know, going through the process, closing on it eventually. Um, I'm gonna give you like an idea of the steps. So if you're looking to move to Memphis, you're moving here, you're gonna be purchasing a home when you get here. Um, this is what you're gonna need to do. This is what you need to know. So uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. And step one is kind of what you're doing right now. You're doing your research and part of that, you're figuring out what you want. Yeah, you're looking online, you're looking at different areas, what the builds in the area look like. Because one thing you'll notice if you're up east, northeast we don't have basements in in the mid-south really mm -hmm. i mean very few homes have a basement now as i'm saying that this home right here that i've got <laughs> under contract to close it, uh, next month does have a basement yeah so you, you'll see little things like that here and there but uh but you, you got to figure out those things what you want do you want a uh eight acres here in cordova which eight acres six hundred thousand Mm -hmm. That's not too bad right not here in Cordova. You're, you're close to everything that you want to be close to. Eight acres in Cordova is an anomaly by itself. I mean, that's not going to happen very often. <laughs> so so don't, don't necessarily count yeah. on that one. Yeah. But, but, uh, but, you know, you're figuring out those things you want. You're doing your research. One great way to do the research, though, uh, is watch the videos like you're doing right now. And uh, we've got a lot more on the channel and a lot more coming up. So you want to make sure that you get down there, hit the subscribe, and click the bell uh, so that you can get more help as you're doing that research, kind of figuring out all these different areas, suburbs, cities, neighborhoods, all that stuff. That's what we're showing you here on the channel. Um, so definitely do that. And it'll help you in that process. And uh, then we're going to get to the next step, which is getting you an ally to kind of help you out when you get here on the ground. And if you're purchasing a home, that ally is gonna be an agent. Someone right here with boots on the ground, they're gonna know the areas, know the neighborhoods, know the different builders, everything you need to know to make an educated choice when you're choosing that home. If, you're ha if you already have an agent, that's great, but if you don't, call this number right here. That's us, that's what we do. We're trying to help you guys find a beautiful home here in the Memphis area, whether it's eight acres and a pond like this, or maybe it's a zero lot line like we were just out at in, um, in Arlington earlier today. So uh, reach out to us guys, let's start that process. Now at this point in the third step here, we wanna get you connected with a lender. Now you can use anybody you want. You can get your own lender, but what we'll find a lot of times is having a good local lender uh, really helps out. Uh, the local lenders do a better job and whether that's local here in Memphis or local wherever else in the country you buy, in, I always advise people to use a local lender because we've got relationships with these people. They have relationships with the inspectors, with the appraisers, with the closing attorneys. So we all work together you know, seamlessly to make this a, a, a smooth transaction for you guys. Yeah, and not only that, you know, there's there's different little programs and things that they might be aware of here that aren't in other parts of the country that maybe a national lender isn't aware of. And, you know, if you do get in a situation where you're competing, which that's happened in the past, and sure. we don't know really what the market is coming up this summer, um, when that other agent sees a local lender they recognize and know and trust, um, it could be you know a deciding factor yeah, for you. It could be the difference between them accepting your offer or accepting the local offer that's here on the table. Yeah, and so if you don't have somebody that you're already committed to, uh, and we get it, you know, maybe you do have a relationship with somebody, even if they're not local, we're not saying they can't do a good job, they obviously can. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do want to get a good local recommendation, uh, that's something that we can do after you reach out to us like you should have in step two. Okay guys, so the next step you've already got through the first three, right? You've found an agent, you've done your research on the homes, you've gotten pre-approved with a local lender. So that next step is we'll take all that information that we have, we'll put it into a buyer collaboration center, and what that's going to do is it's going to email you all the homes that fit your criteria, your price point, your location, everywhere that you want to be. Those homes will come out to you just as soon as they're listed. You go through the list, you reject the ones you don't like, you favorite the ones you do like, and that sets up that showing list for when you arrive here in town. And like Chris just said, that leads right into the next thing, which is you got to get out here and look at these houses. Yeah. And uh, you know, we love, I think the best way is if you can come into town, because you want to get here and kind of really feel out these areas. You can see it on the videos, you can see the photos of the houses, uh, but it really does help if you can get here and look at it in yeah, person. Yeah, my preferable way of business is for you guys to come in town, give me a day or two, let's hit your favorite list, let's look at them in person, hopefully we'll write an offer, but if not, at least you're here in town and you've kind of narrowed down to the areas that fit your lifestyle best. Yeah, and if you can't do that, obviously we can't accommodate. We've helped a lot of people do virtual showings, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, even if, you know, maybe you're here for a few days and you're filling out these areas. Even if we don't find the home then, mm -hmm. I think it's a lot easier doing the virtual showings after that, after you've gotten out in the neighborhoods versus just doing it completely. So we can accommodate you either way, but um, getting here, checking it out, and then we'll show you however we need to show you uh, all these homes and uh, help you find 
the right one which is gonna you know you're gonna you're gonna get through a process you're gonna find a few you like you're gonna narrow it down and then finally you're gonna find the one mm -hmm. and you're gonna make an offer so we've got all that figured out we know what's going to motivate this seller we get it typed up nice and clean we got a local lo lender approval letter we stack it up in one clean pdf i shoot it off to the listing agent and bam you're under contract okay so you got all that figured out you got your offer accepted we're all excited we're kind of moving along you're getting ready to actually be purchasing your house here in Memphis, but you gotta slow down just a little bit because there's a few things that we gotta be aware of and gotta get through. There are some costs that you need. You know, when you put in that offer, you had some earnest money that you had to figure out. You've also got your inspection costs and we gotta actually do those inspections. You know, like for today, we're out here waiting to do a termite inspection. You have a home inspector that comes out and checks out everything because look, these photographers, I've done it before myself. They come out, they can make things look really good. You see those pictures, and even when you walk through the house, to you, maybe it looks good, but then that home inspector comes out here, and look, it looks solid, but check it out. Maybe it's not quite what it looked like. So they're gonna figure out all that stuff for you, and then we've got to negotiate out, you know, what is the seller gonna repair? What are you gonna be responsible for? What are you okay with accepting as it is? Now, once we figure all that out, the seller does those repairs. We get it all cleaned up, meanwhile, the attorney, the title company, they're doing all the title work, cleaning that up for you, getting it ready for the day, the closing day, when you can finally walk in, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna all meet at the table, sign some paperwork. That's right. A good bit of paperwork. A lot of paperwork, <laughs> that's okay. Unless you're buying cash. If you're buying cash, we can take care of you too. But if, you, if you're getting a loan, it's gonna be a good bit of paperwork. But at the end of that, you're gonna get some keys. That's right, keys to your brand new home. That's it, y'all. So that's the process. Obviously, every situation is a little different. And that's what we're here for, to help you figure those things out, figure out your unique situation to help you get through that whole process so that you're not the one worried about all these little pitfalls and things. Uh, we can take care of that for you here. So I hope that helped some of y'all out. We've got a lot more videos coming on the channel. Again, make sure you subscribe so you see those helping you out with that initial research phase and beyond. And then once you get ready, we're here waiting for you. In the meantime, check out the video. We'll pop up right here. It'll give you some more pros and cons about the whole area, some stuff that you definitely want to know.